Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa. The name of this channel is called Gnostic Knowledge and I am back to continue reading in the book Number Games 9-11 to Coronavirus written by Zachary K. Hubbard and uh, I am going to be reading chapter 7 and chapter 8 because they're very short chapters and I might read part of chapter 9 as well. Um, what I am doing on this channel is spreading the knowledge, sharing the knowledge of Gematria. That is what Zachary K. Hubbard's books are pertaining to. The first book that I read on this channel, and you can go and listen to those um, videos, is um, the, his first book is called Letters and Numbers. And now this is his latest book, Number Games, 9-11 to Coronavirus. And his books are about Gematria. Gematria is the encoding of numbers within our letters and words. Every word we speak has a numerical value. Our letters are in fact numbers. And the more you delve into what Gematria is, the more clearly you will see how the code operates, how it is being used, and how it has been used for such a such a very, very, very long time, even before they established this country. This country was established via Gematria, <clears throat> and this code exposes it all. That is why I'm so glad that uh, Zachary K. Hubbard has written these books. That's why I encourage you to get this book. It is available on Amazon as a pre-order, and it will be released on October 13th in three days, actually, a couple of days from now. Um, so be sure you get the book read the information even if you listen to my reading you still need these books you, you need to study this information and um, learn it know what's happening to us we have the right to know how the powers that shouldn't be how they're treating us and how they've been getting away with it for so long and it's via this code uh, his first book uh, letters and numbers you can get that by um, visiting his uh, YouTube channels, Gematria Effect News or Gematria Effect Sports. And in the description of each of the videos he produces, he leaves a link for you to purchase the book. The book is $5, the best $5 you'll ever spend because the information that Zachary K. Hubbard has made available to the public, you will not get this information anywhere else. The book will come to you via email as a PDF file, so be sure to save the file. He left the copyright off this file, off this book, uh, letters and numbers so that you can have it bound into a book for your own personal library if you if you like uh, and his book uh, number games if you don't want to order order it excuse me if you don't want to order it from Amazon you can go directly to Zachary K Herbert's blog page gematria effect news dot blogspot dot com the first thing you'll see is the advertising for the book and this is the uh, this is Zachary K Herbert he's the uh, person that wrote the book hopefully you can see that just so much uh, glare from that lamp up there but he wrote the book and the first thing you'll see at his blog page gematria effect news dot blogspot dot com is the advertising for the book and as you scroll down it gives you the instructions on how to purchase the book within the United States and abroad but yes yeah, so do yourself a favor and get these books read his blogs he has a previous blog page as well called free to find truth dot blogspot dot com he'd been uh, blogging there for over five years so there is a massive amount of content there for you to read and familiarize yourself with um, gematria but uh, read the books and uh, try to wake people up with this information because um, we need to know and I hope people stop sticking their head in the sand as if it's irrelevant because it's not and with that said I am going to continue reading in number games 9-11 to coronavirus and I am in chapter 7 chapter 7 is entitled operation dark winter and the darkest winter warning alrighty <clears throat> Operation Dark Winter was another simulation carried out by Johns Hopkins. It took place on the dates of June 22nd and 23rd, 2001. <laughs> now this is amazing. I didn't even know that there uh, that there was a Dark Winter simulation. See, they everything they do to us, they put it in a simulation. Operation Dark Winter was another simulation carried out by Johns Hopkins. It took place on the dates of June 22nd and 23rd, 2001. The concluding date was fitting 
written 23 slash 6 because Operation Dark Winter sums to 236 with simple English gematria. Strangely enough, the concluding date was also the six-year anniversary of the death of Jonas Salk, mm. who we will um, learn more about in the 11th chapter. The purpose of the simulation was to prepare for how to deal with a bioterrorist attack where the terrorist organization's weapon of choice was anthrax. As you might recall, that is precisely what happened later in 2001 when numerous media outlets as well as U.S. Senators Tom Daschle, Patrick LaHaye, reported receiving letters containing anthrax poison and I do remember that where the postmarks for the first letters containing an anthrax were dated September 18th September 18th 2001 the date in history that the cornerstone for Washington DC was laid and the date the New York Times was founded who also happened to be one of the media networks that reportedly received a letter this date is curious because September 18th was precisely 87 days after the Operation Dark Winter simulation had ended and anthrax poisoning sums to 87 with Pythagorean gematria. The second set of letters were mailed October 9th or 10-9, 109 days after the first day, the after the first day of the simulation or a span of 109 days from the second. Wow. This is also curious because military sums to 109 with reverse simple English and in the end the federal government said that the anthrax was military grade and had likely been obtained from a US military facility. The prime suspect per the feds was Bruce Edwards Ivins, who eventually committed suicide on July 29, 2008, a date with 44 and 64 numerology, and also being the day leaving 155 days left in the year. For your learning, please know, kill sums to 44 with simple English and 64 with reverse simple English. And please know when these 44 and 64 dates roll around, suspicious deaths, deaths happen. Something I have educated about in my first book and something we will talk about later in the deaths of C.T. Vivian and John Lewis, both on July 17th. 2020, a date with 44 and 64 numerology. As for the gematria of the name Bruce Edwards Ivins, it equates to 263, the 56th prime, as well as 79. As a reminder, Society of Jesus equates to 56 and 79. Also important, since the anthrax attacks followed the events of September 11, 2001, let us not forget that the three planes that impacted structures on that date, flights 11, 77, and 175, when added together equate to 263. While we're at it, the name Bruce Edwards Ivins also sums to 110, reminding us of how tall the World Trade Center towers, um, I'm sorry, reminding us of how tall the World Trade Centers were in New York and the connection to and the connection the number has to prophecy or should I say contrived prophecy absolutely so let me just read that one more time I kind of screwed it up but anyway the name Bruce Edwards Ivins also sums to 110 reminding us of how tall the World Trade Centers were in New York and the connection to the number um, and the connection the number has to prophecy I'm so sorry but yeah 110 also has a connection to prophecy or should I say contrived prophecy and for one more point anthrax poisoning sums to 84 in the same cipher as the Jesuit order it is fitting because the Jesuits are known for poisoning their enemies throughout history 
In light of the Johns Hopkins University being founded by a Skull and Bones member, the same university the same university that was responsible for the anthrax attack simulation it is worth pointing out that the first letters were mailed from Trenton New Jersey summing to 202 with reverse simple English in the same cipher skull and bones equates to 202 and keep in mind the 202nd minute of each day is expressed as 322 similar to 322 Furthermore, in 2020, Connecticut basketball star Stanley Robinson, equating to 202, was found dead on the 202nd day of the year, July 21st. And Skull and Bones is from Connecticut, located at Yale. And in light of the attack coming coming one week after September 11, 2001, where the number 77 was very well encoded into the ritual of Flight 77, hitting the 77-foot tall Pentagon on the 77th Meridian West, 77 minutes after taking off, Trenton, New Jersey, also sums to 77 with Pythagorean Gematria, the same as September 11th and World Trade Center. Because of these anthrax mailings, it was reported that five people were killed and 17 more were injured, impacting 22 people in total. The master builder number. In addition to that, the attacks coming on the back of September 11 had most of the United States and much of the world in a state of complete fear. If you were watching the nightly news at that time, they had you believing nowhere was safe. We were told by the same media to be on the lookout for terrorists, possibly packing suitcase bombs, and to use extreme caution when opening your mail. That said, even then, people weren't barricading themselves in their homes as many have done in the time of the coronavirus scare. That brings us to the testimony of Rick Arthur Bright on May 14, 2020, Israel's 72nd birthday, who told the people of the United States to prepare for the darkest winter in modern history because of the coronavirus pandemic and if significant action wasn't taken to curb the spread of the virus before then, there would be unprecedented deaths. Bright, dark, Symbolism? Absolutely. Well, he didn't write absolutely, but that's my favorite word. Absolutely. So I, I just want to show you that. Because um, this stuff is just so... I will highlight it. So, you know, Rick Bright gets to give us the darkest uh, news ever. And I just highlighted it so you can see. You know, bright, dark, symbolism? Absolutely. This stuff is just all so sick and just, man. It is wise to consider that the term corona relates to the faint edge of light shown around the sun in the time of a solar eclipse. It is also wise to note that the Jesuit logo pays tribute to the sun's corona. And with the Society of Jesus in mind, the phrase darkest winter in modern history that was emphasized in nearly all mainstream news headlines after Bright's testimony uh, and this sums to well, let me see darkest winter in modern history sums to 373 with simple English the 74th prime number okay wow as you know Jesus sums to 74 with simple English along with cross Messiah, Gospel, and Parables, and Jesus' birthday is celebrated in winter at the end of the Gregorian calendar year. Adding to the ritual and identifying who is responsible is that the full name of the speaker, Rick Arthur Bright, equates to 191 with simple English, the exact same as Society of Jesus and Winter Solstice. As for the timing of his remarks, they were actually brought to mainstream attention on May 13, 2020, when the nightly news announced that uh, Rick Bright, the ousted director of 
B A R D A, BARDA, or the Biomedical Advanced Research Development and Authority, an office charged with developing medical countermeasures, would testify before the U.S. Congress and explain why the United States of America could expect the darkest winter. The news hype came precisely 222 days to 22 before the winter solstice, December 21st, 2020, corresponding with the 222 value, the 222 value of Wuhan coronavirus. You could also say it came a span of 223 days from the solstice corresponding with the gematria of novel novel coronavirus where both the names where both names are routinely used by the mainstream media. That means his testimony was 221 days before the solstice or a span of 222 days, the latter being the code for order out of chaos and the former being code for the Bavarian Illuminati. To close, an important point that Rick Bright made is the United States of America needs a federal federal coordinated effort. Man, uh, let me reread that. To close, an important point that Rick Bright made is the United States of America needs a federal coordinated effort to help decrease the spread of the virus across the entire nation. And if that is not done, then then there will be dire consequences. In other words, it is a push for greater federalization, a concept that brings we the people closer to the idea of one government that will bring us one step away from the new world order, a one world order being achieved. This subject matter is what the U.S. Civil War was much about, and we the people are being driven down a similar road at this moment in history, something that is plain as day to see, and something that is a topic we will explore further when we get to the chapter on the killing of George Perry Floyd, a man having a name equating to 102 with Pythagorean gematria reminding us that the Civil War began April 12, 1861, the 102nd day of the year on the Gregorian calendar or of the Gregorian year. Wow. So, and I believe that is the end of chapter 7 and it is and I will begin in chapter 8. Okay. Chapter 8 is entitled Donald Trump's Vaccine Plan Operation Warp Speed. All right. Before we get to Donald Trump's vaccine plan, Operation Warp Speed, let's refresh our memories of the ritual he participated in on the date of January 21st, 2020 at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland. On that date, he gloated at the headquarters of the main sponsor of Event 201 about his recent trade deal with China, while at the same time, on the same date, the first case of coronavirus was being confirmed in the United States from Wuhan, China. And as a reminder, it was being confirmed in Seattle, Washington, the home of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, one of the major sponsors of Event 201. And as discussed, the odds of Trump's ritual being a coincidence dramatically decreases when you realize the when you realize the Donald was at the World Economic Forum on his 222nd day of his age and World Economic Forum Psalms to 222, the same as Wuhan coronavirus and order out of chaos, reminding us that the coronavirus pandemic was declared exactly 222 months after September 11, 2001 in New York, New York summing to 222 where event 201 was hosted and further when you write out event 201 it sums to 222 oh my god man i could just feel something horrible coming i just oh my goodness ah oh, man this is just just too much but i mean the writing's on the wall the writing's in this book i mean man this is ridiculous 
Thus having well established that the cabal and those it puppeteers, including Donald Trump, are practitioners of the code, it will be in this lens that we examine his purpose, his proposed plan for administering the vaccines via the U.S. military. And I did hear Donald Trump say that, that he has the military ready to make sure every citizen is um, vaccinated. All righty. We'll begin with the date of his Operation Warp Speed proposal, May 15th, written 15 slash 5, like 155, connecting to coronavirus, as well as it being the two year anniversary of Clade X. In light of the connection to 666 and Clade X, I should note that vaccination equates to 666 with Sumerian gematria. I should also mention the plural Freemasons sums to 155 and 56, the same as coronavirus, and the U.S. Capitol is named after a Freemason. Of course, it was named Washington, D.C., summing to 56, the same as Society of Jesus and Anthony Fauci linking with the fact that Donald Trump attended the Jesuit school Fordham in New York in 1964, 56 years before 2020. I bring all this up now because Donald Trump became very popular with television audiences, audiences before becoming president during the time of the game show he starred in The Apprentice. Of course, The Apprentice is the name of the first degree earned after joining Freemasonry and modern Freemasonry falls under the umbrella of the Jesuits. And in that breath, please remember that Freemasonry equates to 58 with Pythagorean Gematria and Donald Trump announced he was running for the 58th U.S. presidential election from his 58-story Trump Tower before hiring, before hiring the 58-year-old Steve Ray for Inauguration Day, causing Hillary Clinton to write the book What Happened about why she lost to Donald Trump, a title also summing to 58 in Pythagorean Gematria. As we have learned, both the Jesuits and the Freemasons celebrate the motto, Order Out of Chaos. And with the Jesuits in mind, the name Operation, Operation Warp Speed sums to 266 with reverse simple, the same as how the Society of Jesus, Jesus motto, Isus Hominem Salvator, sums to 266. And similar to how Donald Trump made Mike Pence the, co the coronavirus SAR, on February 27, 2020, the 58th day of the year, and Mike Pence's 266th day of his age, being a man with a June 7, 1959 birthday. On the subject of Mike Pence, I should note that his full name, Michael Richard Pence, sums to 155 with simple English, the same as coronavirus and similar to the date May 15 or 15 slash 5. As for the Jesuit motto, Isus Hominem Salvatore, please recall that is that it also sums to 122, connecting perfectly with Pope Francis, a name summing to 122, and him being the 266th Pope, the first to be a member of the Society of Jesus. Furthermore, connecting the name to the Jesuits even more clearly, Operation Warp Speed sums to 95 with Reverse Pythagorean. As we have learned, the Jesuits were formed September 27th, the day leaving 95 days in the year to counter the 95 Thesis authored by Martin Luther, reminding of MLK's demise on the 95th day of 1968. And even more related to the subject at hand, let us not forget the Jesuit Anthony Fauci having a surname summing to 95 and being, born a, and being a man born December 24, 
1948 date with 95 numerology. Of course, he was standing over Trump's shoulder on the day of May on the day of the May 15th announcement. Emphasis on 15 slash 5, 155, as he so often has been during the time of the pandemic. To go even further, and to show that each of the base ciphers are relevant to his name, Operation Warp Speed and Coronavirus Pandemic both equate to 220 and 94 using simple English and Pythagorean, where the number 94 connects to Roman Catholic Church. As for the name Warp Speed alone, it equates with military in the same two ciphers summing to 107 and 44. This only makes perfect sense because as Donald Trump explained, this would be a military operation with the nation's forces being used to administer the vaccine to the populace as quickly as possible once it was ready and even warned that the vaccine could come from China. To bring more relevance to the military and 44, at the time of finishing this book, the official narrative for the first confirmed case of coronavirus in the world traces to the date November 17, 2019, in Wuhan, China, the day leaving 44 days left in the year and a date having 67 numerology. When you consider Cladex and Event 201, were categorized as war game simulations with a virus and you don't neglect that the military world games that originated in Rome in 95 were beginning the date of event 201 the role of military becomes all the more clear in these agendas that are taking hold let us not forget on September 11 2001 Part of the Pentagon's excuse for why the military did not respond more quickly to stop the terrorists from flying planes into their targets was because of the war game simulations that were taking place at the same time, causing much confusion and providing the perfect window for the attack that we now collectively remember as 9-11, as well, I mean a swell date for a national emergency. You might also recall that September 11, 2001 was 44 days after the 9th of Av, summing to 44, the Jewish annual holiday to remember the destruction of the two temples, the second of which was destroyed in 70 CE by the Romans, reminding us that Vatican equates to 70. My goodness. Another pertinent point is that Donald Trump's Operation Warp Speed was announced May 15, 2020, 30 days before his 74th birthday on June 14th. This distance of 30 days matters because vaccine sums to 30 with Pythagorean gematria, the same as Corona. And Trump's big statement from this speech was that he believed science could have a vaccine for coronavirus by the end of 2020. This pairs well with the fact that the pandemic was declared on March 11th, much like 11 slash 3, and similar to 113113, the 30th prime number. Let us not forget that coronavirus pandemic also sums to 113, same as Clade X, and in that simulation, as well as event 201, the top objective was to develop a vaccine and administer it to the populace by whatever means necessary even by cutting corners such as no trial vaccines something that is considered very dangerous by the medical world not by chance 19 days after Trump's May 15th remarks the global vaccine summit summing to 201 the Global Vaccine Summit, summing to 201 with simple English, was hosted in London, England. It was reported that the event raised at least $7.4 billion, corresponding with the simple English gematria of London, and reminding that event 201 was October 18, 2019, the day leaving 74 days in the year. Furthermore, the Global Vaccine Summit began June 3rd, 
the 155th day of 2020, corresponding with the simple English value of coronavirus, 155, and pairing with the date of Trump's big vaccine goals, May 15th or 15 slash 5, like 155. Even further, it ended on June 4th, a date that can be written as 46, not unlike 46, respond, representing Ordo Alp Chow, as well as chaos and virus. One thing I am currently wondering about that seems unrelated at first is if it is a coincidence that on June 14th, 2020, Donald Trump's 74th birthday, it also happened to be the concluding day of the PGA's 74th Charles Schwab Challenge that was won by a Jewish golfer, Daniel Berger, born April 7th or 74, the same date Trump's tower burned in 2018. Consider, this was the first PGA, PGA event after the break in their season caused by coronavirus, and Charles Schwab is an investment firm for the financial markets. This matters because Daniel Berger won the tournament 68 days after his birthday, and market as well as golf equate to 68. Same with Donald John Donald John Trump, The Apprentice, and Mar-a-Lago, the latter being Trump's favorite uh, golf resort. Adding insult to injury, it was reported that Trump returned to playing golf on May 23, 2020, a date with 68 numerology, after being advised to stop on March 8, the 68th day of the year. Of course, due to coronavirus coined in 1968, in light of the date 523, Donald Trump equates to 523 using satanic gematria, as you will learn in due time. The world of scripted sports and the world of scripted news go hand in hand, including the scripted events of world leaders, and perhaps through this story, the cabal was hinting at who might have a big hand in a big ritual that involved international markets where the cabal was literally stealing the wealth of the people of the world for the benefit for the benefit of the very top earners such as Jeff Bezos Bezos types. <laughs> My God. Case in point, on July 22, 2020, it was reported that Bezos had made more than $13 billion in the last 24 hours due to surging Amazon stock prices, and his wealth had climbed past Nike, McDonald's, and Costco to nearly worth as much as 50% of the Dow Jones. Never mind that Never mind, that was his 193rd day of his age, 56, and Roman Catholic Church equates to 193 with simple English, and 193 is the 44th prime number corresponding with the Gematria of Seattle, equating to 44, the city sitting on what could be the Cabal's favorite parallel, the 47th, corresponding with the Gematria of the Vatican, e equating to 47. That was established on 211, like 211, the 47th prime. If that wasn't enough, on that same date, Trump's 74th birthday, June 14, 2020, Israel, a Jewish nation, named a section of Golan Heights Trump. Heights, equating to 74 after Donald Trump. As we know, Donald Trump likes golf, and more importantly than that, he likes Israel, having visited there on Jerusalem Day before dashing off directly to the Vatican to pose with Pope Francis on May 24, 2017, the 144th day of the year. What is concerning about this is mainstream Israel, Israeli publications such as Haaretz, H-A-A-R-E-T-Z, Times of Israel, and Jewish Standard are discussing Donald Trump as the possible Jewish Messiah. Can you get the hell out of here with that? <laughs> Where both Jewish 
and Messiah equates to 74. This becomes all the more disturbing when you realize there is a shekel being sold in Israel with Donald Trump's head on one side and the third temple on the other. Furthermore, the proceeds of this coin are going to be used to build the third temple that will be built at the time of the Jewish Messiah per prophecy. Yeah, right. And what adds to the concern is the fact that Israeli and U.S. media brought attention to the coming Trump Heights territory on September 16, 2019, the day leaving 106 days left in the year. The number corresponding with the simple English value of prophecy equating to 106. That was precisely a span of 39 weeks from the funding being approved for the development of Trump's birthday. And where and there are 39 books in the Old Testament, the Jewish section of the Bible. It was also a date with 44 and 64 numerology connecting to the gematria of Israel and Zion both equating to 44 and 64 and reminding that there were 44 kings of ancient Israel and Donald Trump is the 44th person to be president of the United States despite being number 45. This is just some crazy stuff. <clears throat> With regards to number 45, Holy Bible sums to 45 with Pythagorean and reverse Pythagorean gematria. And in the Holy Text, the warnings of Revelation are through the sounds of trumpets, trumpets, not too far off from the Trump Pence presidency. If you'd care to add to your 45 list, Mike Pence sums to 45 with both Pythagorean and reverse Pythagorean as well. The same as Gutenberg, the name of the first published Bible in the world. And going beyond Gematria, the year the King James Bible was published, 1611, King James turned 45 years old, having been born June 19, 1566. Thus, there can be no doubt that the riddles we are facing in the time of the Donald Trump presidency are absolutely biblical and relating to Revelation. This is something we will take apart further ahead when we, di when we dissect the meaning of the first case of coronavirus being confirmed outside of China in the United States January 21st or 1-21. Uh, 1 slash 21 like 121 while Trump <laughs> I'm sorry while Trump was gloating about financial wealth at the World Economic Forum instead of human decency as you will learn there is a great significance to revelation and coronavirus outbreak equating to 121 the same as the big players of event 201 uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Johns Hopkins University, and World Health Organization, each equating to 121 as well in light of what the agenda is ultimately about. You'll also realize it was no accident. Sirius XM made Channel 121 the coronavirus pandemic channel on March 6, 2020, the 66th day of the year reminding us revelation is the 66th book of the text and even more march 6 2020 was a date with 49 numerology corresponding with the pythagorean gematria of revelation as well as washington and america and even further that the date can be expressed as 36 similar to 36 where 666 is the 36th triangular number and 666 is the number of the beast that will either have to be taken or denied by the person who chooses in revelation man in the time of the great tribulation as a reminder the choice is do they want to be able to buy or sell. Of course, per the Bible, 666 is taken on the forehead 
or the right hand and many people are having their foreheads scanned at this very moment to see if they're healthy enough to enter stores and clinics so that they can buy or sell if you ask me it is clear symbolism it is clear symbolism on the subject of the Trump Pence presidency and trumpets please recall what transpired when an earthquake struck Salt Lake City Utah March 18, 2020, knocking the trumpet out of the angel Moroni's hand at the town's iconic Mormon temple. What made this event extremely fascinating is that where Moroni sums to 78 with reverse simple, Salt Lake City sums to 78 with reverse Pythagorean, and March 18th was the 78th day of the leap year. As you know, this number connects to the gematria of Jesuit and Scottish Rite, each equating to 78, and the founder of the Mormon faith was Joseph Smith, a Scottish Rite Freemason who was killed on June 27, 1880, 1844, emphasis on 44, on a day leaving 187, 187 days left in the year, and a date with 95 numerology. At the same time, the March 18th earthquake was 88 days before Donald Trump's 74th birthday and where Mormon sums to 88 and 74, Trump sums to 88 and 47. Furthermore, the Mormons quietly opened a temple next to the Vatican on January 15, 2019, 61 weeks and one day before this earthquake, which also fell on a date with 61 numerology corresponding with the gematria of Jesus, church, and Christian, as well as God with Jewish gematria. Ahead, we'll talk about military technology and earthquakes, and if that topic frightens you, help me do something before they're administering our ad <laughs> our vaccines too <laughs> that is that's the end of chapter 8 oh my god let me reread that because I know I, I love the way you write Zach <laughs> he said ahead we'll talk about military technology and earthquakes and if that topic frightens you help me do something before they're administering our vaccines too absolutely absolutely so um, that is chapter um the end of chapter eight and that's only like look 42 minutes <laughs> but uh i'm gonna continue on into chapter nine i may not finish chapter nine but we'll see but i'm gonna uh try to anyway so chapter nine is hr six 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 four six is six 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 hr six 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 contact tracing id 2020 and the big tech takeover sorry for reading that so many times but anywho in light of the trace act being hr 6666 it should be noted that the word trace t-r-a-c-e has gematria overlap with beast in three out of the four base ciphers equating to 34 47 and 88 trump is 88 you beast <laughs> At the same time, trace equates to 20 with Pythagorean, and it is going into effect in 2020. Of course, 666 is the number of the beast, as written about in Revelation 13, 18. Adding to the riddle, the trace act stands for testing, reaching, and contacting everyone act. The full name sums to 183 with Pythagorean and 222 with reverse Pythagorean, similar to how order out of chaos sums to 183 with simple English and 222 with reverse simple English. Furthermore, the acronym TRACE, T-R-A-C-E, sums to 222 with satanic gematria, the cipher you learned about at the end of the chapter 4. At the end of chapter 4, where if you write out the cipher name, Satanic Gematria, it sums to 666 
using the method, cementing the fact that this legislation is evidence of the order out of chaos agenda and paying tribute to the significance of 666 is that it was introduced on May 1st, 2020, a date with numerology of 46 corresponding with the gematria of chaos, Ordo, Abtau, Virus, and Chicago, the latter being the hometown of the man who introduced H.R. 6666, a man who was born in 1946, who we will discuss ahead, and who was perfect for introducing the bill, having four sixes in the title. Keep in mind, Illinois equates to 54, the same as Mark of the Beast and Jesuit Order. If you want to go even further, May is one of the two months equating to 42, the other being February, and the beast rules for 42 months in Revelation, reminding that Washington State, where the first case of coronavirus was confirmed in the U.S., is the 42nd state in order of statehood, and Washington has gematria overlap with Revelation and America as well as Scottish, as in the Jesuits' Freemason buddies. And most important of all, May 1st is the 121st day of the Gregorian year, corresponding with the simple English gematria of Revelation, and reminding that coronavirus was confirmed in the United States on January 21st, or 1-21, like 121. The goal of the TRACE program, not, some, not surprisingly, is to trace everyone through their cell phones for the purpose of contacting everyone who might cross paths with the infected as an extra precaution to help stop the spread of the virus. The new medical term for this is contact tracing. And as you know, it is only made possible because of the computer and the internet, both words having gematria values of 666 as well as 42. And as you can imagine, it will only be a matter of time before Big Brother is telling us the added benefits of the TRACE Act and why it should be here to stay even after the time of coronavirus. All they will have to say is it could stop the next pandemic and sadly very few will ask the necessary question. But what about my privacy? Of course the average person in 2020 thinks along the lines of well if I stay out of trouble I won't have to worry about any problems with the government. And more and more are thinking in terms of I hope some government creep isn't checking out my nudes. Mm -hmm. But what they're not thinking is how am I ever going to be able to help my people organize to take a stand against tyranny if the watchful eye and <laughs> if the watchful eyes and listening ears of the tyrants are always on me absolutely Zach so I definitely want to read that one more time to get it into context but what they're not thinking is how am I ever going to be able to help my people organize to take a stand against tyranny if the watchful eyes and listening ears of the tyrants are always on me for the exact purpose of sniffing out the type of dissent I intend those not considering the latter question need to ask themselves where society is being directed and is it good? Better yet, should there be a stand? While they're at it, they need to go back and read George Orwell's 1984 for some perspective. Absolutely, I've read that book and that book is exactly what we're living out still. I mean, it was written in 1948, but it was titled 1984. And I believe, it was, I forget why exactly it was uh, titled 1984, but it was in tribute to, I want to say the Fabian Society that was formed in 1884, I believe. And, you know, don't quote me on that. But it had something to do with the Fabian Society's date of establishment. But it, I mean, these people have just been planning and planning all of this stuff that we're living out. And it, it's just, oh my word. Anywho, moving right along. 
As for the man who introduced HR 6666, his name was written Bobby L. Rush on the bill, summing to 56 in reverse Pythagorean, similar to the 56 value of coronavirus and Washington, D.C. Furthermore, from his 73rd birthday, November 23rd, 2019, to the day he introduced the bill, May 1st, 2020, was five months and eight days later. Similar to the Pythagorean gematria, a uh, value of contact tracing, summing to 58, and reminding us that the U.S. Military's Technology Branch is DARPA, DARPA, established in 1958, the same year as NASA in part because science sums to 58 with simple English. Also, don't overlook that Bobby L. Rush was in his 74th year of his life when this happened or that he first ran for office in 1974 because it ties in with how he once founded the Black Panther Party branch in Illinois an organization summing to 74 with Pythagorean gematria and a party that was created by Huey P. Newton. A name summing to 58 with Pythagorean as well. Recall what we learned about Cam Newton of the Carolina Black Panthers signing on Bill Belichick's 74th day of his age, June 28, 2020. And if any coincidence theorists are still reading you must not have been following four months before Super Bowl 50 was played when I explained why the Denver Broncos would beat the Carolina Panthers in the Bay Area in Super Bowl 50 where the Black Panthers were founded the latter team being one with a Black Panther on their helmet making Cam Newton emphasis on Newton the QB of the Carolina Black Panthers at the time of the 58th quarterback <laughs> at the time he was the 58th quarterback to start in a Super Bowl oh boy sure as the Sun it happened and Beyonce even dressed up as a Black Panther for the halftime show and not to gloat too much but I also spelled out why number 58 Von Miller of the Denver Broncos would be the MVP of the game, drafted one pick after Cam Newton in 2011, and sure as the sun he was. For one more Super Bowl 50 was the golden anniversary of the NFL signature game hosted by the 49ers, named after the 1849 California Gold Rush, and it was held on February 7th. 2016, the 38th day of the year, corresponding with the simple English gematria value of gold equating to 38, not unlike Gerald Ford, the 38th President of the United States, who allowed Mer Americans to once again purchase and own gold, overturning FDR's 1933 orders that took the right to purchase gold away. Ford's orders went into effect on December 31st, 1974, the same year Richard Nixon, summing to 74 in Pythagorean, resigned. And keep in mind, Denver is the 38th state in order of statehood, and Colorado sums to 38 with Pythagorean, same as Panthers, the latter team who lost in the Super Bowl 38 to the New England, to the New England Patriots. Thus, a fateful number for them. Another way the faithfulness of this number is evident is with the death of Tupac Shakur, the son of a Black Panther leader, his mother, Athena Shakur. That's because Tupac died on September 13, 1996, a date with numerology, a number, uh, a date with 38 numerology, sorry about that, a number corresponding with death, murder, killing, rapper, nigga, and even Africa, as well as R.I.P. In case you are wondering, Notorious B.I.G. also died on a date with 38 numerology, like how Pop Smoke, summing to 38, died at the beginning of 2020 while renting the house of the 38-year-old daughter of John Mellencamp. 
If you've read my first book, you know these riddles of 38 and death are endless, and as recently, George Floyd has joined the club. With ease, I could write another book on those that have transpired since the release of my first book in March of 2018, just over two years ago. To make a long story short, the world of celebrity and reality TV is deadly business. On the subject of Pop Smoke's death at age 20 on February 19, 2020, where death equates to 20, I should note his death was very much related to the, G to the Jesuit cabal. This was made clear in a few ways. First, he was born July 20th, the 201st day of the year. Second, after his death, the rapper Jadakiss announced that out of respect for Pop Smoke's passing, he was pushing back the release of his new album to March 6, 2020, an album in tribute to Ignatius Jackson, not to be confused with Ignatius of Loyola, <laughs> oh my word, the former being a friend of Jadakiss from the hip-hop industry and who went by the name Ice Pick, equating to 38 with Pythagorean. As for Jada Kiss, he was born Jason Phillips, equating to 191, the same as Society of Jesus. And further, Jason Phillips and Jada Kiss each equate to 61 and 74, the same as Jesus. Excuse me. Also, don't overlook that March 6th can be written as 36, similar to how IHS equates to 36. At the same time, Ignatius Jackson died at age 44 <clears throat> on June 6, 2017. A date written 66, and the album in tribute to him was released on the 66th day of 2020. Furthermore, his age of death connects to the gematria of his surname, Jackson, equating to 44, as well as the fact that the album released while Jada Kiss was 44 years old. And on the subject of the name Jackson, Pop Smoke was born Bashar Jackson, and in light of him being killed on the 50th day of the year, it reminds of the then 44-year-old rapper 50 Cent born Curtis Jackson who looks a lot like Pop Smoke and who admittedly came out and said he would help get Pop Smoke's posthumous album finished which he did on a 50 date numerology July 3rd 2020. As for the number 44 and what we learned earlier shooting equates to 44 and that is what reportedly took Pop Smoke's life similar to how MLK and Malcolm X were killed in 44 rituals and in shootings. In the case of Ignatius Jackson, it was cancer equating to 44 with simple English the same as chemo and kill. As for the other big Jesuit clue in his death, it came on July 9, 2020, when it was reported that five people had been arrested in his murder. The news coming on the 191st day of the year and a date written 7-9, as well as having 56 date numerology connecting to the base cipher gematria values of Society of Jesus, equating to 56, 79, 187, and 191. As for the 187 connection, 50 Cent's birthday is July 6th, the 187th day of the year. And on the subject of the July 9th arrest, don't overlook that murder equates to 79 or that July 9th is O.J. Simpson's birthday. A man born Orenthal James Simpson equating to 84 and being a person that is another story for another time. Getting back on track, a point worth making about the Black Panther Party that Bobby L. Rush, who gave us H.R. 6666, was a foundational member of, is that the name sums to 191 with simple English, identical to the Society of Jesus. This reminds us that Black Lives Matter sums to 56 and Pythagorean 
the same as society of Jesus and it also reminds us 2020 is 56 years after the US Civil Rights Act and 54 years after the establishment of the Black Panther Party in 1966 oh my goodness and it does not and it does make sense that it would be the Jesuit order behind each entity the uh, Black Panther Party and the Black Lives Matter because a Jesuit motto is divide and conquer and these political parties have historically been about division and it isn't to say that there isn't merit for the existence of both organizations the Black Panther Party and BLM it is only to point out that they have ultimately fueled the divide the divide between races in the nations they have operated in as they were intended to by the Jesuits. Case in point, on January 23, 2020, Sean King, the leader of Black Lives Matter, was receiving mainstream attention for tweeting the night prior that he believed white Jesus was a symbol of white supremacy and all statues depicting white Jesus should be torn down. Not by accident, the date of this news was on the day leaving 191 days left in the year, corresponding with both Society of Jesus and Black Panther Party. And I'll add, while he is correct to an extent, it does not mean the people who believe in white Jesus are white supremacists, and it is through instances such as this one um, through his not so careful but very intentional words that the greater divide is created because a divided people are more easily controlled and it is in instances such as these where you are reminded that communication is 95% nonverbal. As for Bobby L. Rush summing to 56, recall the word singularity sums to 56, a word that is identical to coronavirus using all four base ciphers. It is the word <coughs> that explains the moment in history where technology advances to a point that creates an irreversible change in humanity. In other words, it is the moment we are at now. Case in point, days after the introduction of HR 6666, Boston Dynamics out of Massachusetts, a company name summing to 56 in Pythagorean, unleashed spot SPOT summing to 70 with simple English this is similar to how coronavirus and singularity sum to 56 and 70 as well as having overlap with all four base ciphers the purpose of spot the robotic dog that was first deployed in Singapore was to identify was to identify people who were not practicing social distancing during the time of coronavirus and then present and then present them with a friendly voice recording through the mouth speaker of spot telling them to increase their distance in relation to the people around them it was also reported that future generations of spot could be equipped with cameras and sensors designed to read the body temperatures of people so as to spot who might be infected with the virus. Just imagine a future version of the robotic dog where he is equipped where he is equipped with facial recognition technology and is commanding you by your name to stand back six feet or to seek medical attention or to surrender yourself to authorities. Man, in a not so distant future, all of this could become all of this could become a reality because all of your personal information could be uploaded to a database or a cloud that spot has access to, including your face. And at the rate we're going is very likely, yeah, probably already in place. To paint the picture more clearly about the riddles being laid down before your eyes that are coming straight from biblical scripture, I'll go with an example many can relate to. You've likely already had the experience of your forehead being scanned by a computerized one 
for a temperature reading as a means to determine if you might be one of the infected before entering a building such as a business or a doctor's office. I personally had it done to me at the dentist's office on May of 2020. In May of 2020. The next time someone reads your forehead, remember, that is the place that the mark of the beast is taken in Revelation during the time of the Great Tribulation, having Gematria of 225, a period we will learn more about when we discuss the killing of George Floyd on his 225th day of his age mm, in Minnesota and the Catholic Church of Minnesota settling with the families of sexually abused children for 22.5 million days after and just weeks after the death of the Jesuit leader Adolfo Nicholas having named Gematria of 225 and dying on a day on the day leaving 225 days in left in the year May 20th 2020 Woo. This is just too much, too much, too much. For another glimpse into the future, just prior to Spot being unleashed on the streets on March 26th or 26 3, sort of like 263, the 56 Prime, Microsoft published a patent. Uh, they published patent W0202006. 0606. You'll notice the 666 at the end of the patent name, separated by zeros. What this patent was for was described as a cryptocurrency system using body activity data. <laughs> In other words, it is a computer technology monitoring the workload of the body as a means to determine the level of pay in electronic currency or cryptocurrency. It isn't hard to imagine technology such as this being implemented at an Amazon warehouse near you in the not too distant future. This way, Jeff Bezos, just down the street from Microsoft, will have no problem at all detecting who his most productive workers are at any given minute, at any given location, or who might have taken one minute, one extra minute, going over the limit on their their 15 minute break period oh my god and who needs to be punished while having access to access to the data of potentially millions of people at once of course governments who amazon as well as the other tech giants build the technology for will have the same capability or already has it my word, this stuff is just driving me in. <laughs> it's just, man. Boy. While considering technology capabilities such as this, you have to keep in mind the mainstream media talking points are that being, uh, what did I say here? While considering te technological capabilities such as this, you have to keep in mind the mainstream media talking points that are being used in the time of the coronavirus to prep the minds of the masses for the new world order, including the elimination of paper money because of its ability to carry and spread germs. The killing of George Floyd over a counterfeit $20 bill even became part of this discussion because electronic currency would eliminate the possibility of counterfeit money and of course use a brother with a fake 20 lying bastards these details factor in with how days before the reported george floyd killing steve mnuchin announced the federal reserve would not be debuting the new 20 dollar bill with harriet tubman on it as planned, a name summing to 201, the same as George Perry Floyd. The encoded decals reveal that both stories regarding Harriet Tubman and George Floyd were part of the planned mainstream narrative that was foretold at event 201 as well as Clade X where pandemics were forecasted that involved 
predictions of immense changes to life as we know it, as well as resistance to rioting. In total, from the mainstream media programming to the war game simulation with viruses, it is all done so that the cabal can normalize us to the process of these coming transitions. Thus, why it has been named the new normal, having gematria of 43 like pandemic, 47 like foundation, and 115, reminding of January 15th when the first case of coronavirus was reportedly discussed outside, discovered outside of mainland China. At the same time, Masonic and Freemasons, the plural, both sum to 43 and 115, and we know how many degrees the Scottish Rite of France, the nation summing to 47 and 115, sets their compasses at 47 degrees. Let us not forget, Paris, France, equating to 56, is the home of the Jesuits, or how uh, 115 connects to the Jesuits and the Scottish Rite. On the subject of the digital currency, something that is an objective of the cabal, simply because it will ensure that they can track every last penny of the masses, preventing any possibility of tax fraud, such as not paying taxes on your tips, as many people in the service industry tend not to do. We must look at Visa's published patent, May 14, 2020. The day that was Israel's second, 72nd birthday. For your gematria learning, both money and Bitcoin sum to 72 with simple English. Similar to how Jesuit order equates to 72 and how, and we know who the money managers often are. Look no further than Skull and Bones member Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary. Furthermore, on May 14, 2020, Visa published their patent for digital fiat currency summing to 119 with reverse Pythagorean similar to all-seeing eye. My goodness, summing to 119 with simple English, the latter being the object that is shown on the U.S. $1 bill atop the unfinished pyramid made of 13 layers of bricks. On that same dollar bill design, there is a Star of David summing to 119 with simple English hidden in the grouping of stars above the head of the bird that is debated as being an eagle or a phoenix, the latter being a symbol for order out of chaos and having gematria of 46, the same as Ordo Ab Chow. As for the Star of David, also known as the Seal of Solomon, it is the symbol on the flag of Israel. And in light of the 13 layers of bricks, it is important to know that the White House, I mean that the House of the Temple, the Scottish Rite headquarters in Washington, D.C., modeled after Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem, has an unfinished pyramid on the top, also made out of 13 layers of bricks. Keep in mind, Solomon means sun and moon, and the moon is on a 13-month cycle, whereas the sun is moving about the 12 constellations, and thus 12 sets of stars and one near, nearer star that we call the sun, thus 13. This parallel to the Freemasons becomes all the more important when you look at the drawing submitted with Visa's published patent for how the digital currency will work. If you take the time to examine the provided illustration in the patent, there is a rectangle drawn in the top right corner with the word architect written inside of it. Directly above the word architect is the Freemason Compasson Square. For your learning, the G in the middle of the Freemason logo surrounded by the compass and the square stands for Grand Architect. One of the central Masonic beliefs is that God is a master mathematician and God built the world in his image using geometry or what is referred to as sacred geometry. <clears throat> 
It is why this knowledge of gematria, meaning geometry in language, is used by the cabal in repetitive fashion along with the routine use of other important symbols to them such as the circle, the triangle, the pyramid, and the all-seeing eye. Again, they are playing the part of God in what is believed to be God's language, letters, numbers, and words as well as geometric shapes. Speaking of God, on the US dollar bill is written in God we trust as well as annuit coeptus both phrases sum to 58 with Pythagorean gematria the same as Freemasonry and secret society as well as Solomon's temple the latter belonging to the Freemason king who per first Kings 1014 received 666 talents of gold each year in weight I bring this up because visa's patent for the digital fiat currency was filed on was filed on November 8 2019 a date with 58 numerology this date was precisely 188 days before the May 14th publishing date a number that also matters because Bavarian Illuminati su sums to 188 with simple English and the US fiat, fiat currency dollar bill denomination sum to 188. They are the 1, the 2, the 5, the 10, the 20, the 50, and 100 dollar bills. It all makes sense when you consider these same bills are full of Illuminati symbolism and in undressing these rituals it becomes clear who is behind Visa the card that is accepted worldwide let us not forget the Bavarian Illuminati excuse me was founded by Adam Weishaupt the Jesuit and Freemason with 13 families and on the subject of 13 I would encourage you to look up the Economist cover from January 9th 1988 that depicts a Phoenix rising out of the ashes and the title of the cover is get ready for a world currency mm hmm keep in mind that date can be written uh, 9 1 like 91 the 13th tri triangular number and Phoenix sums to 91 with simple English at the same time the date can be written 1 9 like 19 and chaos equates to 19 as well as 26 with regards to 26 Phoenix also equates to 26 same as dollar and bank and let us not forget the Phoenix symbolizes the strategy of order out of chaos furthermore the title of the cover equates to 137 the 33rd prime and September 1st 2021 will make 33 years since it was published Wow another point that should be made clear is both God and dollar have gematria of 26 as does the word bank adding to that list is the word virus and while we're at it so does the name China the blamed party for coronavirus the perfect problem for the cabal that allows them a convenient excuse to push their agenda forward including a surveillance state as well as an entirely trackable currency meaning your neighborhood drug dealer doesn't have much time left just wait until spot the robotic dog is dragging him down the street and speaking of spot the letters for the word dog are the reshuffling of the letters in God meaning it sums to 26 Wow coming back to the point about May 14th I want to remind you who was born on that date in 1984 the the infamous year it was Mark Zuckerberg the face of Facebook summing to 58 with simple English reminding that DARPA was established in 1958 if you're not aware already DARPA's lifelong experiment meaning a US military experiment the equivalent of Facebook concluded February 4th 2004 the exact same day Facebook launched hmm <laughs> okay so let me read it read that again if you're not aware already DARPA's life log life log l-i-f-e-l-o-g DARPA's life log experiment meaning a US military experiment the equivalent of Facebook 
concluded February 4th, 2004, the exact same day Facebook launched. Notice that date can be written as 42, similar to 42, connecting to the gematria of computer and internet, as well as Freemason, Zionism, and Jesuit. Furthermore, February 4th, 2004 was 266 days after Mark Zuckerberg's 19th birthday. The Jesuit tribute number, as we have learned, pairing well with the fact that Mark Zuckerberg was not only born in 84, but his name sums to 84 with reverse Pythagorean, the same as the Jesuit order, and similar to how Jesuit sums to 84 with simple English. Beyond the Gematria, Jesuit and Israel comparisons and ignoring the fact that Mark Zuckerberg was known for traveling around wearing a hoodie with the Star of David hidden on the inside of it early in his Facebook days, it is important to point out what Facebook and the rest of the social media platforms were up to during the time of coronavirus. Of course, they were busy censoring people such as myself, labeling us as fake news and the like, despite posting very well researched and credible information that is backed in years of evidence data analysis and correct predictions at the same time they are likely helping big brother build a database of rabble rousers or otherwise said those questioning mainstream and official narratives what can be confirmed at this time is world governments are announcing they have facial recognition technology for at least three billion of the world's people <clears throat> and this has been achieved by collecting data and images from the World Wide Web and connecting names and government identification numbers to the faces they belong to. Of course, most of this is possible because of Facebook. And I know I got a bunch of pictures on Facebook <laughs> when it first came out. My goodness. And if you're wondering, the same types of rituals have been taking place with Jack Dorsey. Are st and still are. Okay, let me reread that. And if you're wondering, the same types of rituals have been taking place with Jack's, with Jack Dorsey and still are. On May 28, 2020, Donald Trump targeted Dorsey's brand, Twitter, having gematria of 74 and 47 with an executive order. And this was 191 days after Jack Dorsey's 43rd birthday, where 191 is the 43rd prime. And both numbers connect to the Society of Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Trump's beef was that two days earlier on May 26th, Twitter had labeled his tweets as potentially inappropriate. This issue on the 26th of May sparked headlines stating the 26 words that created the internet could be finished. <laughs> what? Okay, sorry my nose gets itching. This issue on the 26th day of May sparked headlines stating, and I and it's quoted, the 26 words that created the internet could be finished okay it was a number game in plain sight not unlike September 11th that led to the invasion of Afghanistan 26 days later if you are not familiar with the 26 words they are I'm gonna highlight it so you can see okay mm -mm -mm. Okay, how oh good that's at a hundred percent. Well, I'm I highlighted what is coming next, so and I know that's not twenty six, but we shall see. If you are not familiar with the twenty six words, they are forty seven USC I don't know what the S thing is and two thirty. A provision of the communication de decency act, okay. A provision of the Communication Decency Act. And I guess these are the 26 words coming up. Okay. No provider or user of an internet computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any information 
provided by another information content provider. So let me just count these. So these must be the 26 words, of course. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, absolutely, those are the 26 words, okay? It is this same provision that prevents social media companies from being sued for content posted on their platforms, meaning Donald Trump was aiming to open the door for lawsuits potentially going both ways. Absolutely. Uh, something that could be a real threat to any content creator on any social media platform who does not have anywhere near the bankroll big tech does. I bring this up because we know in the US courtroom justice is usually about who can afford the best lawyers. And with that I am going to end the reading. In chapter 9 I am on uh, page 25 and I will read some of chapter 9 a bit later maybe tomorrow sometime but anyway I hope you enjoyed the reading I hope you'll give the video a like and a share and I hope that you will get the books for yourself to read them because I'm sure you're a much better reader than I am of the content you could you know it's nothing like holding a book in your hand or even reading it on your own tablet or whatnot with your own thoughts, with your own, you know, being able to see the words and comprehend what is really, really taking place. You guys have a good night, and thanks for, um, and thanks for the people who have donated. I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a good evening, and I will be back shortly to continue Chapter 9 of Number Games 9-11 to Coronavirus. Thank you.